Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay, picture this scenario. We have Alice and Bob. And Alice is not the ideal housemate because she wants to hack into Bob's bank account. Uh, she knows his phone password and um, whenever she gets the chance, she's going to try to log into Bob's banking app by guessing his partial pin. So first of all, what are partial pins? Uh, partial pins are when you are asked for a smaller set of random unordered digits from your full pin and uh, appear to be mostly used in the UK and Ireland. So originally they were used for phone banking, but with the emergence of online banking, they no longer serve the purpose of their original role, and their security was brought into question. So here's Alice's plan. When Bob's banking app asks for this smaller set, which is three digits from its full pin of six, she is going to attempt to guess, guess this. She notes incorrect um, guesses and deletes these from a list of all possible pin combinations. So once she's correctly guessed this partial pin, she has increased her chances of guessing his full pin from one in a million to one in a thousand, which is much better odds. So for this project, we wanted to come up with some strategies for what Alice is planning to do. So looking at different size pin and partial pin combinations, uh, noting how many guesses are needed and what patterns emerge. Um, our motivation being that the theory behind this has not been looked into in great detail before, and it is also hard to get uh, a hold of real world data about how insecure uh, partial pins are. So we coded up four different methods for guessing pins. The max and educated guess method look at the frequency and distribution respectively of the numbers left in the pin list, making informed guesses as they go along. Uh, round robin starts at zero, ending at nine for each digit in each position in sequence. And random, as the name suggests, just randomly guesses numbers. All methods delete incorrect guesses from the pin list as they guess. And the clear winner is the max method. So we can see here from this uh, diagram that random method is three times slower than the max method for guessing, in this case, a four-digit pin with a partial pin of two. Um, looking more closely at the max method, um, we can see for a pin size of six with a partial pin size of three, like Bob's, it takes around 300 guesses to have a 25% chance of guessing the pin in around three months. Compare this to the full pin of six, which for the same 25% chance would take about 250,000 guesses and would take 250 years. It is also worth noting um, that it can be difficult to remember specific positions of your pin. So people with uh, memory uh, issues would find this challenging and it can also spark people to write down their pin number, which in itself is another security risk. So partial pins are not um, as widely used as before and when they are, they're used more commonly with another form of authentication like a text message. But in our scenario here, Alice already has Bob's um, phone password, so this is not much of a hurdle. So back to Alice and Bob. At three guesses per day, Alice has a 50% chance of guessing Bob's pin in under five months and almost a 100% chance in over a year. If, on the other hand, Bob's pin was the full six digits and Alice was especially vindictive, she would need to enlist the help of many future generations of her children in order to guess his pin in around 10,000 years. So I think we should stick with long pins. 
So this QR code leads you to my profile page with Science Federation of Ireland Advanced Centre for Research Training, as well as pins I'm curious about human-centred computing and nefarious activities online like dark patterns. You can also find me on Twitter. Thank you for listening. <laughs>